Welcome back to Explaining Everything, the channel where we dive into the stories and mysteries behind everyday things. Today's question comes from one of our curious viewers, Master Tony. Thanks for the suggestion, Tony. You asked, how is synthetic oil different from regular oil? Most of us know our cars need oil, but few people stop to ask what kind of oil or why it even matters. Is synthetic oil just a marketing trick or is it actually the high-tech juice your engine deserves? Buckle up, we're diving deep under the hood to find out how synthetic oil is different from regular oil right here on Explaining Everything. Let's start with where these two oils come from. Regular oil, also called conventional oil, is basically prehistoric soup. Millions of years ago, tiny sea creatures and plants died, sank to the bottom, got buried under pressure, and over time, transformed into crude oil. It's nature's slow cooker recipe, just with more fossils and fewer onions. Refineries take that crude oil, heat it, separate it, and refine it into motor oil. It's effective, sure, but it's also kind of messy. It's got impurities like wax, sulfur, and random molecular freeloaders that can gunk up your engine over time. Synthetic oil, on the other hand, is the nerdier cousin. Instead of relying on ancient dead stuff, chemists build it in a lab, molecule by molecule. Think of it as oil that graduated from MIT. It starts with a base stock, usually highly refined petroleum or even natural gas, and is chemically engineered to have the perfect structure. Every molecule is tailored for maximum performance, like the oil equivalent of a Marvel superhero. So, while regular oil is nature's version of whatever comes out of the ground, synthetic oil is more like custom-built, premium-grade, scientifically designed slipperiness. Now, here's where things get geeky, but in a fun way. Oil isn't just one thing. It's a blend of hydrocarbons, or chains of hydrogen and carbon atoms. Regular oil molecules come in all shapes and sizes. Short, long, bendy, clunky. It's like a jar full of mixed noodles. When it flows through your engine, some parts move well, others get tangled, and some just sit there doing nothing. Synthetic oil, however, has molecules that are uniform and consistent. Imagine perfectly cut spaghetti, smooth even, and ideal for sliding through tiny metal spaces. That means less friction, less heat, and better overall protection for your engine. And then there's the fun part, additives. Synthetic oils come with a high-tech cocktail of detergents, anti-wear agents, corrosion inhibitors, and antioxidants. Basically, it's oil plus a multivitamin and a gym membership. This chemical perfection helps synthetic oil stay stable even when temperatures get extreme. Regular oil thickens like cold honey in winter and thins out like water in summer. Synthetic oil? It stays cool, calm, and consistent like a Zen master in a sauna. All right, but does all this chemistry wizardry actually matter when you're driving to work or sitting in traffic behind a guy who forgot how turn signals work? Yes, yes, it does. Synthetic oil doesn't just protect better, it performs better. Because it flows easily, your engine starts faster in cold weather. Because it resists breakdown, it lasts longer before needing a change. And because it leaves fewer deposits, your engine stays cleaner and runs smoother. And here's the part that makes mechanics smile. Synthetic oil doesn't burn off as easily under high heat. Regular oil starts to break down 
when things get too hot, forming sludge that can clog your engine's arteries. Synthetic oil can handle the pressure, literally keeping things running silky, even when you're pushing your car to its limits. In short, it's like comparing fast food to a balanced meal. Both keep you running, but one's going to leave you with fewer regrets later. Now, if synthetic oil is so perfect, why doesn't everyone use it? Well, it's pricey. Synthetic oil can cost two to three times more than regular oil, and that makes a lot of people hesitate. But here's the twist. It actually lasts longer, sometimes two or three times longer between oil changes. So while you pay more upfront, you might spend less overall. Think of it like buying a cheap umbrella versus a really good one. The cheap one flips inside out after one storm. The good one? You'll still have it 10 years later, wondering how it hasn't broken yet. Plus, because synthetic oil keeps your engine cleaner and reduces wear, it can extend your engine's life. Over time, that means fewer repairs, better gas mileage, and a car that doesn't start coughing at 120,000 miles. So, yes, synthetic oil costs more. But it also does more. It's not just about keeping your car alive. It's about keeping it feeling young. All of this doesn't mean regular oil is bad. It's just the budget option. But synthetic oil is the premium stuff that says, I care about my engine's emotional well-being. So next time you're at the shop and the mechanic asks, synthetic or conventional? You'll know that one's born from dinosaurs and the other's born from science. And in the eternal battle between fossils and formulas, chemistry might just be winning. If you enjoyed learning about the science hiding in your engine, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon while you're at it. Also, if you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other bingeable channels. Thank you for tuning in and join us next time here in the channel that answers all the why, what, who, where, and how questions you've always wondered about here on Explaining Everything.